It's another exit out of San Francisco. After 10 years of being hosted in the city's famous Castro neighborhood, the Lesbian Who Tech Conference says they're done with the city by the bay. Boasting 15,000 attendees in 2023, this year their departure is welcome news to many local businesses. A lot of businesses didn't know what was going on. I mean, something as simple as taking your trash out, nobody knew where to put it. Traditionally held inside the Castro Theater, since 2022, the conference has also shut down two blocks of the street outside, putting up massive barriers and makeshift structures in the middle of the road, something several businesses we spoke to told us was detrimental. No business was allowed to happen, deliveries, also the event was closed in, so they were only allowed to stay in their area. Wadey Dugman works at Rossi's Deli. He says after several difficult years during and after the pandemic, another week with little to no business was the last thing they needed. So a lot of people have been staying from home, leaving San Francisco, so I think them having an event was nice, but it would have been a lot better if it was inclusive of the whole community. The concerns were heard all the way to City Hall. Supervisor Rafael Mandelman, who represents the Castro District, says although he thinks the Castro Theater closing for renovations played a role in the conference moving this year, he knows Lesbians Who Tech were aware of some of the complaints from the neighborhood. Lesbians Who Tech made representations about their desire to try to address some of those. They were um, relatively inflexible about some of the requested changes. Mandelman says he's open to having the conference come back into town in the future. However, he tells me if it does come back, it'll have to be with some changes. If they come back in the future, I think we need to take a hard look at the footprint and figure out how to minimize impact on on businesses. In San Francisco, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.